Good evening, friends and comrades. There was some technical difficulties with the prior video, so I'm going to be going over these two topics once again. The topics are in twofold. First, I'm going to go briefly over Standy Rock, and then over the importance of joining your local green. I found out this evening something that disturbed me. That there was a woman who's being transported right now to hospital in a neighboring state in, in Minneapolis who received a concussion grenade in Sandy Rock for nonviolently defending the Native Americans. And it looks like they're going to have to amputate her arm tonight. The corporate media, who are owned by the fossil fuel industries, ignore these problems. The big banks like Citibank fund these problems, which is why we need to invest in these banks and invest in credit unions, as I've done. A lot of people, when you mention Standing Rock and selling delegation or rep representatives there, they bring up local issues, like here in Florida, Sable. Sable is an important problem. The pipeline could put one of our most important lakes, uh, Lake Okeechobee here in Florida, in, in danger. And we need to protest against Sable. At the same time, we need to be there in this moment in history to support the rebellion revolution of Native Americans in Standing Rock. The U.S. government recognizes 500 Native American tribes. 300 of these are united in Standing Rock. We've never seen anything like this. Uh, there's even been a delegation, at least two delegations I heard of from Mexico, one of Mayan origin, another one of Aztec in origin. So it's important that we send people there and that we don't be intimidated by these acts of terror that are done on, on peaceful protesters or nonviolent protesters or indigenous fighters for the right to land and to water, to life. And the Greens are the ones that are supporting this. Now, what can we do with your local Green? I believe the website is uh, gpfl.org for the statewide Greens. If you haven't joined a local area, maybe you could start one. Um, I recently uh, signed this form. I'm going to bring it to one of the members of my council, hopefully in the next meeting. Uh, at this time, I'm not going to say publicly I'm running for office in 2018, but I'm considering it. There's different positions you, you can look at. But Greens need to organize at the state level, at the local level, either as uh, state senators or legislators, etc. And I heard they made some advances in Maryland as well, and they got in the double digits. Uh, I did a video the other day with Kim O'Connor, who got 125,000 residents of Hillsborough County here in Tampa to vote for her, and she was able to be water conservationist as a result. So there's things that we can do uh, to try to end these injustices. And I see that Standing Rock isn't very important as green partisans or green activists that we unite uh, to show our solidarity there. And if we, I cannot get enough funds in the fundraiser to go with a group up there, uh, I'll probably be going by myself sometime in December. In the beginning of December, uh, Jill Stein and Jumbo Rocca themselves will be in North Dakota defending themselves in court over these ridiculous charges of vandalism. So thank you, friends and comrades, for listening.